Everyone is, uh, is available and even Jonas tomorrow we try before the game in the morning and then we have to take decisions about in play or not play in, on the game. Uh, so unless until tomorrow everyone is ready. Jonas' injury is not as severe as you feared then? Uh, we were talking about um, he, he talked with the doctor. Um, talk with me and he feels something until yesterday. Today he feel better. Um, he hope to be ready for tomorrow, but we will try and then we take a decision before the game tomorrow. Left hamstring? Uh, left or right, I don't know which one. Is all the paperwork for Fabio in? Will he be available tomorrow? No, no not yet, but maybe uh, today afternoon we get the good news. But, about the paper, he had a problem right now. No, no, no other paper. You've seen him play, obviously. What, yes. What's, uh, how, how do you assess him? I think he's a kind of player we need to uh, to bring to bring to the team because he can make a pause, uh, give the last pass really good. Uh, he got a he he's in match in the game of the play every time. Is the kind of player we don't have. Um, I like him for even, I think he, he's a good, uh, good professional, good player, and he can help a lot. With so many games in a short period of time, do we expect changes in the starting level for, for tomorrow? Uh, excuse me? Con tantos partidos en los últimos días, ¿se puede esperar cambios en el cuadro? Uh, yes, maybe uh, we can make some changes. Because uh, I remember now, Rolf, yes, it, he's uh, out because he had a problem in the toe. Toe? Toe. Um, but maybe we can make a some change. But uh, not much because uh, every, everyone want to uh, be on the field. Uh, we, uh, we go to, to losing uh, on the road. Um, if we, we had a win uh, one of a game, we are in the field position. So. Uh, we are around tomorrow for to get the field position for a while. You know, is uh, LFC is, today, is playing later, so uh, everyone gonna feel like uh, to be on the field. How long do you expect Rolf to be out? Yeah, for a week, just a week. So uh, he should be able to play the next game. I think so. Yeah, we were talking today, and uh, he feels something during the game with the uh, so like here. He tried to play. Uh, with New York, with the Columbus, uh, uh, we were talking before Columbus because I saw him a little heavy. Um, he told me today he he not feel 100 percent for okay. Where do you see uh, Fabio playing? How, how do you want to util utilize him? Uh, in the place in the field. No, he can play like uh, midfield, uh, interior, like playmaker. He can play outside, uh, not like a win, but uh, maybe organize. The, the play from them. Uh, we were talking with him about that. And he's ready for uh, any position. With uh, how do you have an idea as to how you want to use him and uh, and Sebastian? Maybe moving Sebastian to a wing and putting him in the number ten, or are you looking at him as more of a forward? I can I could understand. Tienes ideas de cómo quieres utilizar a Fabio? Ah, yeah. No, I think. Uh, uh, he can play together with Corona, with Legend, with uh, Jonas, or whatever midfielder is playing. Uh, like uh, a Rumble, or um, next to him in front, or on the left, on the right. Uh, don't care about too much which one is the position for everyone. Uh, the best uh, thing we can do is uh, to bring uh, good players. They can understand each other, um, make a good, uh, good play for the team, and try to win. I, I guess my, I, I guess my question more simply is: Do you see Lejet be playing more on the wing now? Uh, sometimes he misses uh, the place during the game. We were talking. Uh, maybe we need to be more organized, and he can uh, be better. But, but do you expect him to play more as a flank player? Uh, when he came here first, he was primarily a winger. No, no, but I, I like him in the middle. Okay. Maybe uh, he can play a little more 
a head or a little more backpack, uh, I let him like to play. Okay. As, as far as re uh, replacing Rolf, Morajo will be the likely first choice? Yes, sure. Okay. Yes. We, you know, we practice with him from the preseason, so he's ready. How big of an opportunity is it for him? He wasn't called up to the U20 World Cup, uh, kind of controversially. Now he has an opportunity to, to play. Uh, yeah. Uh, 20. No, he's not going. To no, he's not yeah. going. How much of an opportunity uh, is it for him yeah. to build on that? I think uh, uh, the, the coach for uh, under 20, he got the uh, decision. He, he know why. But for us, it's good news to have him. And anyway, if he can wait, it's better. Uh, he had to wait uh, because Rolf is playing. It's good uh, too because uh, he can train with us and keep growing. Guillermo, un poquito volviendo al tema de Jonathan, entonces fue más un golpe que una lesión muscular. Creemos que sí, que fue algo momentáneo y por la acumulación de minutos y de tiempo decidimos sacarlo ese día y se ha recuperado bien, esperemos que se continúe con esta recuperación y que pueda estar mañana. Y un poquito en la, en la explicación también del tema de, de, de Fabio y Seba, eh, cualquiera desde afuera diría que, que Fabio jugaría en la mitad, Seba afuera, pero usted dice que quiere a Seba por el medio. Sí, 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 después veremos eh, cómo se van entendiendo, pero mm, quiero que jueguen juntos porque tienen buen pie, buen juego, eh, son creativos y es bueno unirlos. Si el documento llega, Fabio va a estar en los 18. Es eh, muy posible, sí, pero me parece lo veo muy difícil. Veo muy difícil que llegue, que el, llegue documento. No, el documento. Sí. sí. Um, y la otra es con, con Rolf, es el pie izquierdo, ¿no? ¿Tiene algo en el pie izquierdo? ¿Un golpe? En el pie derecho. En el derecho. Mm. Pero no lo afecta, digamos, usted lo ve una semana afuera nada más. Hablé con el médico y le vamos a dar cinco días de descanso y ver si se puede recuperar. Claro. Y la oportunidad también de, de, desde su suplente, digamos, de hacerse minutos porque Rolf está convocado con Venezuela a la Copa de América. No tenemos... salió, la lista, salió la lista esta mañana. Bueno, sabe esta que mañana. son las 40, sí. Sale, sí. Sabe que son las 40, pero sí. bueno, está. Sí, claro, pero no, no está todavía la lista definitiva. Veremos uh -huh. en la lista definitiva. How, uh, how important is this weekend's match? Is this team frustrated after the... Yeah, I think everyone gets a frustration for no win. You know, we, uh, we need a three, three points for to get the third position. We are going to play tomorrow before the NLFC and... I think uh, we need uh, to to looking for the bed uh, New York because it uh, will give us uh, three points for to get the the first position and everyone wanna be in in the table um, up in the table. Do you look at those games as lessons for this team to to learn from these those performances? Yeah, I hope. Every time when you lose in the soccer, you, you learn. Uh, whatever it is, the, is the game, you play well and you lose, or you play bad and lose, you got a lot of things for to learn and for improve. Guillermo, le transfiero una de la calle. Con la oportunidad de estar afuera de estos dos partidos, de tanto viaje, tan cercanos, ¿por qué no tenía sentido rotar? ¿Por qué pensaron que estaba bien como iban en ambos partidos casi similares la línea? Porque... Jugamos el sábado, volvimos a jugar el miércoles. Eh, Columbus también jugó en el mismo tiempo. El tiempo de recuperación fue para los dos equipos el mismo. Ellos también habían viajado el sábado y creímos o creemos que no, no había razón. Quizá mañana algún cambio pueda haber eh, por esta razón de, del cansancio, pero también el hecho de haber perdido eh, a cada jugador le sale de adentro querer estar y querer... Eh, poner su, su granito de arena para ganar mañana. ¿no? En Columbus usted vio al equipo cansado o es más algo que se comenta después de ver el resultado puesto? No, creo que se ve después de, del resultado. Creo que jugamos mal. Columbus no ganó bien. No así New York, capaz con New York merecimos más, pero con Columbus jugamos mal y merecimos perder. Gracias. Cool. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias, Guillermo.